Welcome to today's presentation on Phase 3 Clinical Trials, the critical stage in the drug development process. In this video, we will delve into the purpose, design, and significance of Phase 3 trials. So let's begin our journey into the final step towards drug approval. What are Phase 3 Clinical Trials? Phase 3 trials are large-scale studies conducted on a significantly larger population than earlier phases. These trials assess the efficacy, safety, and side effects of a new treatment compared to existing treatments or a placebo. The ultimate goal is to determine whether the investigational drug is effective and safe enough to gain regulatory approval. Design and Key Features Phase 3 trials are usually randomized, controlled, and double-blinded, ensuring unbiased results. Randomization helps distribute participants evenly across treatment groups. Control groups receive either the standard treatment or a placebo, allowing for comparison. Double-blinding ensures neither the participants nor the researchers know who is receiving the investigational drug. Sample Size Phase 3 trials require a large sample size to increase the statistical power and reliability of the results. This ensures the detection of both common and rare side effects, as well as the ability to measure the drug's efficacy. Duration of Phase 3 Trials Phase 3 trials are typically longer than earlier phases, often lasting several years. This extended timeline allows for the collection of robust and comprehensive data. Endpoints Phase 3 trials have primary and secondary endpoints. Primary endpoints are the main outcomes measured to evaluate the drug's effectiveness. Secondary endpoints provide additional information, including quality of life improvements or specific target markers. Regulatory authorities and approval. Phase 3 trial results are submitted to regulatory authorities like the FDA, in the United States, or the EMA, in Europe. These authorities review the data to assess the drug's safety, efficacy, and benefit risk profile. Positive phase 3 trial results are often a crucial milestone towards drug approval. Patient recruitment and informed consent. Patient recruitment is a vital aspect of phase 3 trials. Participants must provide informed consent and meet specific eligibility criteria. Informed consent ensures that participants understand the potential risks and benefits of participation. Importance of Phase 3 Trials Phase 3 trials provide valuable evidence about the drug's safety and effectiveness in a large and diverse population. They help identify potential side effects and interactions with other medications. The data collected in Phase 3 trials guides regulatory decisions and influences clinical practice. Conclusion Phase 3 clinical trials play a crucial role in the drug development process. They provide substantial evidence for regulatory authorities to determine the safety and efficacy of a new treatment. The results from Phase 3 trials significantly impact patient care and can bring life-changing therapies to those in need. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Stay informed and stay curious.